Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x plus y plus z is equal to 1 and x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 2 x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to 3 Our job is to find the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 If we look at the patterns it looks like the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 is equal to 4. But this is not sure. Let's solve and see that the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 is equal to 4 or something else. For this, first we find the value of x times y plus uh, y times z plus uh, x times z. So we square both sides of uh, this equation. The equation is uh, x plus uh, y plus uh, z is equal to 1. And we square both sides of uh, this equation. This x plus y plus z whole squared is equal to x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, z squared plus uh, 2 times uh, xy plus uh, yz plus uh, xz is equal to 1 squared is 1. Now we replace this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus z squared with this value 2. So this will become 2 plus uh, 2 times uh, x times y plus uh, y times z plus uh, x times z is equal to 1. Now we subtract 2 from both sides. So this get cancelled and we are left with uh, 2 times uh, x times y plus uh, y times z plus uh, x times z is equal to 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And if we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, x times y plus uh, y times z plus uh, x times z is equal to negative 1 over 2. Let's call this equation equation 1. Now we find the value of uh, x times uh, y times z. For this, uh, we use this uh, algebraic identity x cubed plus uh, y cubed plus uh, z cubed minus 3xyz is equal to x plus uh, y plus uh, z times x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, z squared minus x times y plus uh, y times z plus uh, x times z. In this uh, algebraic identity, we replace this uh, x times y plus y times z plus uh, x times z with this value negative 1 over 2. We replace this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus z squared x plus y plus z plus uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed plus z cubed x plus y plus z is equal to 1, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 2, and x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to 3. This uh, x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to 3, minus 3 times x, y, z is equal to, this uh, x plus y plus z is equal to 1, times uh, this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, z squared is equal to 2 minus this uh, x y plus y z plus uh, x z is equal to negative 1 over 2. So, this will become negative 1 over 2. x 3 minus 3 times x y z is equal to one time this expression is same as this expression and uh, 2 minus uh, 
negative 1 over 2 will become 2 plus 1 over 2 and this is equal to this 2 is same as 4 over 2 plus 1 over 2 and 4 over 2 plus 1 over 2 will become 5 over 2 is equal to this expression 3 minus 3 times x y z. So, we move this 3 to the right hand side this will become negative 3 times x y z is equal to 5 over 2 minus 3. And we can write the denominator 1, we take LCM of 1 and 2 that is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times this 5, 5 minus 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 times 3, 6. So, this will become negative 1 over 2. At left hand side we have this expression negative 3 times x, y, z. Now we divide both sides by negative 3. So, this will become negative 3 times 2. This negative 3 will be considered with this negative 3 and we get the value of x, y times z is equal to this negative 3 times 2 will become negative 6 and the negative 1 divided by negative 6 will become positive 1 over 6. Let us call this equation equation 2. Now, we find the value of x squared y squared plus y squared z squared plus x squared z squared. For this, we square both sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is x times y plus y times z plus x times z is equal to negative 1 over 2. Equation 1 is x times y plus y times z plus x times z is equal to negative 1 over 2. This is equation number 1. And we take square of both sides of this equation. So, this will become x times y plus y times z plus x times z whole squared is equal to negative 1 over 2 whole square. By using this algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times a b plus b c plus a c. This left hand side will become x squared y squared plus y squared z squared plus x squared z squared plus 2 times x y squared z plus x y z squared plus x squared y z is equal to this negative 1 over 2 whole squared will become positive 1 over 4. Next, x squared y squared plus uh, y squared z squared plus uh, x squared z squared plus uh, 2 times uh, from these three terms uh, we can factor out uh, x y z in bracket left uh, y plus uh, z plus uh, x is equal to 1 over 4. Now, this x plus y plus z is equal to 1 and this x times y times z is equal to 1 over 6. 1 over 6. So, this will become x squared y squared plus uh, y squared z squared plus uh, x squared z squared plus uh, 2 times 1 over 6 times 1 is equal to 1 over 4. Next, x squared y squared plus y squared z squared plus x squared 
z squared this two one time and two three times so this will become one over three and we move this one over three to the right hand side this will become one over four minus one over three this is equal to the LCM of 4 and 3 is 12 and 12 divided by 4 is 3 3 times this one 3 minus 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 times this one is 4 so 3 minus 4 over 12 will become negative 1 over 12 so this x squared y squared plus y squared z squared plus uh, x squared z squared is equal to negative 1 over 12. Let us call this equation equation 3. Now to find the value of uh, x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 plus uh, z to the power 4 we square both sides of this equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 2. The equation is x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 2. We square both sides of this equation. By using this algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times a b plus b c plus a c. This expression at the left hand side will become x squared whole squared plus y squared whole squared plus z squared whole squared plus uh, 2 times uh, x squared y squared plus uh, y squared z squared plus uh, x squared z squared is equal to 2 squared is 4. Now we replace this uh, x squared y squared plus uh, y squared z squared plus x squared z squared with this value negative 1 over 12. So, this will become x squared whole squared will become x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 plus uh, z to the power 4 plus uh, 2 times uh, negative 1 over 12 is equal to 4. This 2 1 time and 2 6 times 12. So, this will become x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 plus uh, z to the power 4 minus 1 over 6 is equal to 4. Now, we move this negative 1 over 6 to the right hand side. So, this will become x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 plus uh, z to the power 4 is equal to 4 plus uh, 1 over 6. We can write the denominator of this for 1 and this will become the LCM is 6. 6 divided by 1 is 6, 6 times 4, 24. Plus 6 divided by 6 is 1, 1 times this one, 1. And this will become 25 over 6. So, the final value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 is equal to 25 over 6. This is the final answer of this problem.